All right, we are almost one week removed from the 2012 election, and while Florida is declaring the race is over, my next guest is not giving up on his seat just yet. Republican Congressman Alan West is demanding a full recount as he now trails his opponent, Democrat Patrick Murphy, by a margin of less than 1%, only about 1,900 votes. Now, this latest challenge comes after a partial recount of early votes in St. Lucie County was conducted, and West gained a lot on his opponent, and voting irregularities were not confined to Florida. Today, there are reports about unusual trends in both Philadelphia and Cleveland. According to the Philly Inquirer, Romney did not get a single vote, not one in 59 of the voting divisions in Philly. And then in Ohio, Obama won dozens of Cleveland districts, get this, 100% of the vote. Here with more on his call for a recount in Florida and the suspicious voting trends, Florida Congressman Alan West. You know, think about this, 59 divisions, 19,605 votes for Obama, zero for Romney. That's pretty amazing. And in Ohio, let's see, we've got um, pretty interesting numbers here. 31 of 88 counties have voter registration rates over 90%. Some counties actually have 109% registered voters for every 100 people eligible, 109 voters for every 100 people eligible to vote. Um, and then we got 21 districts in Cleveland. They got, well, 99% of the vote. What are you to make of this? Well, the thing that spurred our curiosity in our race was the fact that at 1 o'clock in the morning on election night, all of a sudden there was a 4,000 vote swing that took me from being ahead to put the lead into my opponent's hands. And what the supervisor of elections, St. Lucie County, said, Gertrude Walker, was that they went back and they did a recount of the early votes that they had already counted the first three or four days. Uh, what we're asking is very simple. Let's have a full recount of all of those early votes because to have a full 4,000 vote swing in a 35 minute period is unconscionable. And that really what uh, became the basis of the lead. Wait so, wait, so they, said, they had already counted these votes, then they yes. recounted them at 12 o'clock at night, and then they found 4,000 votes. They made a mistake the first time. Is that what you say? Uh, that's what they're saying. And so it, the fact is yeah. that. And, and we've already had a partial recount when she promised a full recount just yesterday on Sunday with about 42 to 43 percent, and we made up 535 votes. And so we are right now at 0.58 percent. Right, so which th these were early votes. You were ahead by 4,000 here. And then all of a sudden they redid them, and then, right. oops, we made a 4,000 vote mistake. 4,000? Well, I believe the, we were ahead by, yeah, we were ahead by about 1,800 to 2,000 votes, and it swung to the other side to my opponent. All of a sudden, he was ahead at 1 o'clock in the morning. So what we're asking for, first of all, there are many irregularities with a lot of uh, disproportion between the amount of people who voted at some of these polling precincts and the actual amount of ballots that were counted. We have instances where there were polling locations where the doors were locked and vote counting was done, which is a violation of Florida statute. And also, Ms. Walker, when she announced on Saturday, that she would do a full recount of early votes on Sunday, but then she came back and only did the last three days. That's another violation of Florida statute. So I think we all need to take the time out to make sure that we have a fair and equitable democratic think, electoral process. Do you think something's fishy here? When I tell you that in Philly, that 59 divisions, that not one person voted, 19,605 votes for Obama and none, zero to Mitt Romney, 59 districts, 59 divisions. Do you think that's possible mathematically? Well, I don't live up in Philadelphia or in the uh, suburbs, so I'm not familiar, but I will tell you that the indicators and warnings would say that that probably should not be mathematically possible. But coming back here to St. Lucie County, there is no way that Ms. Gertrude Walker can explain at 1 o'clock in the morning, 4,000 votes shift to put my opponent into the lead. And everyone is asking her about this, and she is refusing to come forth and do the right thing by the constituents, the voters of Congressional District 18. Sean, this is not about me. It's not about me. I know that the Democrats would like to see me gone, but they should not do this at the expense of Americans that Let are Let me ask you voting. one last question. Do you think Democrats op opposed you um, because you're an African-American conservative? And I saw some of the ads that were run, which were despicable in your district. There's no doubt about it. What I find very funny is how uh, the liberals will complain that the Republican Party needs to have more different faces, and as soon as a different face steps up, they viciously attack you.
Well, I want to get to the bottom of your election. I'd like to get to the bottom of Philly. Uh, if for no other reason, the American people need to know the results are that we have free and fair and accurate elections. And uh, uh, Congressman Colonel, you've been a you've been a great advocate for conservative values. I wish you the best in this recount. We'll continue to follow. Thanks. Thanks. And happy Veterans Day to all my brothers. Happy and Veterans sisters. Day. Absolutely. And